Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about CAT and what you need to do in the last few days of CAT. Alright, so stay with me for some time. Last few days of CAT. Now, 30% of the preparation is based on the last 10 days. We are all Indians. Indian students always study in the last 10 days. So these 10 days are going to define your final strategy for CAT. Alright. So before I start this thing, let's start with the target colleges. Now band A with an average package of around 14 lakhs, band B with an average package of 8 to 9 lakhs and band C around 5 lakhs. These are the three packages and these are the percentage percentiles are required for these colleges. So 98% plus again depends upon the other B schools, their uh, profile based criteria and your 10-12 marks but on, on in general 98 percentile plus will fetch you a few good calls which you can expect around 40 lakh a package uh, 94 percentile 93 percentile for average package of 8 lakhs and around 85 percentile for average package of 5 lakhs yeah I don't want to go into details of which all colleges are in this band A band B band C but you get a given kind of flavor now in last end it sounds a little bit difficult to get these percentiles but on the other hand if you look at just the scores required if I just get 50% marks in my CAD papers, I am 98, rather 99 percentile. Yeah, 40% marks is 92, 93 percentile. And 33 percent marks, sorry, not 30, 33 percent marks is around 85 percentile. So just to give you a flavor, now don't look at the left hand side, only look at the right hand side. 50 percent marks is all you have to score in the last few days to fetch a 14 lakh package all your life. Fine. So this is just to motivate you, you can do enough in the last few days, so please work hard. Alright, how to get 99 percentile, these are the 5 things required. Your ability, talent, yeah, preparation, your temperament, ability to handle the pressure, ability to manage time and of course the luck. These are the 3 things which you can manage in the last 10 days or last few days. Your preparation, your temperament and your ability to manage time. That's the main objective of the mock engineering program. How to manage your these, these three parts. Alright, last few days. Number one, work on your weak area one last time. You have still have got time to improve your weak area. Take one mock, one mock a day. Now you have reached a phase when you can take a daily mock. Start taking daily mock. Do the thorough analysis. If you are scoring less than 50, 60, up to 70 percentile in the mocks, don't take mock every day. Take alternate day. Yeah, don't burn out. You need to improve your basics more than a mock. And nothing doing on the last day. So last day, relax, unwind, revise everything what you've done so far. Alright, let me start with the quant part. Whenever I teach, wherever I teach, I teach quant without any formulas. Alright. So I'm going to talk about the logical quant part. Let's first start with the breakup of the quant section. Now I want you to sit with a pen and paper here and mark out. For example, if I look at this equations, number geometry, these three things are the most important part of your quant section. So equations, numbers, geometry. So what I want you to do is, I want you to mark here, tick, it's my strong area, my weak area, opportunity, threat. So that we can improve on your weak area. Suppose I say geometry is my weak area. So now I have to improve my geometry and make it from weak to strength. Fine. So please mark this out and find an opportunity. For example, functions. I don't even know where I stand in functions. So it's an opportunity for me. Alright. Permutation and combination is a, is a weak area for me. So we have to find out. So these three are the main areas. So I want you to spend maximum time in the last few days on these three areas. Apart from this, functions, permutation, combination, arithmetic. These are the second three most important areas. Fine. Followed by the other thing. Logs, maximum, minima, percentage, ratios. All these things are important but not that important. So I can afford to spend less time on these things and more time on the further part. So up to equations, numbers, geometry, functions, graphs, permutation, combination, these are the main areas you have to do first and then if we get time, we'll work on the other areas. Alright, so let me give an example of the visual, uh, of the logical quant which I was talking about. Now pause this video and try to solve this question yourself. Alright, now if you have already tried to solve this question, let me tell you how to solve this. This is a normal way of, sorry, this is the normal way of solving is using the uh, equation and all. 
But what I say is TR is equal to OS. Now both of them are equal. Is equal to RS. This means obviously this radius, this will become as a radius of the SO. If I extend this thing, this is a radius, which is if this is 1, 1, this is 2. So the diameter is 2. Now if I look at this side edge of this square, this is 2, this is 1. So this will be square of these two root. So this is root 3. So obviously circle is bigger than square. So my answer should be greater than 1. So only option number 1 and B are the two options which are greater than 1. Now further if I try to impose the area of this thing is pi r square. So pi area of this thing root 3 squared 3. So pi by 3. So answer is A. Fine. So what I am doing is I am superimposing the square onto the circle and try to see which is bigger and compare the circle and square. Or this is a normal method to do the question. Alright. Similarly for DI, I normally teach DI visually without using any pen. So let's look at the DI importance of DI for the last few days. Oops, some problem in the video. Alright, sorry, we, we visual DI. Now this is the point of DI. Tables and bar chart, these are the two most important things. Long chart used to be there in earlier CAT. Alright, on the top, these are all last few years CAT papers. Yeah. So DI miscellaneous pie chart, bar chart. So this gives you a breakup of everything. Fine. So I want again want you to pause the video and find out what's your strength weakness. Now this will help you identify where you stand and how much improvement you need. Fine. So start working on that part. Fine. The innovative techniques which I normally teach by is logical quant, speedy verbal, visual di, accurate logic, visual gk vocab. So these are the things you can add to your scores. <clears throat> I understand that there are few days remaining so you can't innovate anything right now. But yes, for the long term plan, so you can think a different perspective through these things. Verbal. Alright. Speedy verbal. Verbal is mostly about speed. Yep. You need to be accurate as well as speed in verbal. Now this is a breakup of the verbal section last few years of CAD papers. Now RC is the most important things. Parajumbles, vocab, grammar. Alright, these are things. Now if anyone comes and asks me I am weak in verbal, I can't believe it. Why? You are not weak in verbal. You are weak in a particular part of verbal. For example, you might be weak in, for example, if I take my example, I am good in paragraphs. I can do vocab. I can do parajumbles. But I am weak in RC. So now suddenly what you have done is you have identified your weak area. The RC is one area which is making you feel bad, or feel low. Fine. So all you have to do is work on RC. I am not the faculty who recommend you leave your RC and then you can still score well in CAD. It's not possible. So you have to work on RC. At least try to identify the areas. Now within RC also you can do fact based RC. You can't do inference RC. So identify these areas and work on that. Similarly for the quant part, fine, you are not weak in quant. There are few areas within quant where you are weak in. Functions, for example, if I take the first five main, main things, equations I can do, numbers alright I can do, geometry function I can't do. So suddenly I have identified these are the two areas which are making me think I am weak in quant. Alright, so all you have to do is work on these areas. Fine, speedy verbal. So let's take example of visual vocab, the way we teach. Fine. So let's take a challenge. I am going to give you one word and I promise you will remember that word all your life. Fine. Let's look at the word here. Fine. The meaning of the word is to remove passages considered offensive. The linking word between the word and the remember, how to remember, is bulldozer. Fine. So all you have to remember is a photo of a bulldozer. Bulldozer removes content. Done. So the moment you see this word, the only thing which you should come in your mind should be bulldozer. Fine. Now, this, the, the, these are the techniques you can use to identify and improve yourself. Same for your GK. Apart from CAT, every other exam is going to have GK. Same way I am going to teach GK as well. You can see more examples of these things on our site mockengineering.info and cetechnic.com. Fine. To give you an idea of. So, bulldozer is a link word for this thing. Alright. Next part is a logic part. Logic is all about accuracy. Fine. Cat. Sorry, just a second. All 
for it. In CAD paper, you can't afford to miss even a single mark in puzzles. This is the five-year, six-year paper breakup. Nine mark, eight mark, seven marks. Everything is about puzzles. There are going to be one or two mark extra, which can be FIJ or such a juta question. Fine. So, but mainly is puzzles. So, all I want to do is last three years puzzles were very very simple. So you can't afford to miss even a single mark in puzzle. Fine. So please work hard on the puzzle part. Same for DI. If I go back to the DI section, same for DI. DI in CAT is going to be very very simple last three years. Whatever mocks you are taking, there are some coaching institutes which whose mock you can't even touch their DI questions. Sir, I've done. I've, I got a call daily. I get a call like this. Sir, I solved around eight mocks and even couldn't even touch a single DI question. This is nonsense. Your actual paper is going to be much much more easier than this paper. So stop taking any nonsense crap mocks if you are doing that in last few days. Fine, stop that. Trust me. All right. So going back to the thing. All right. So we discussed about the LR ka breakup. So you can't afford to miss. You have to have accurate LR. Fine. Now this is a scorecard I want to share with you. Now look at this percentile. This guy is rank one, ninety-nine point nine nine percentile in quant, ninety-nine point one eight in verbal, and overall hundred percentile in this thing. Fine. So this is the scorecard which I want to be your target. All right. Let's not target nine hundred percentile. At least let's target ninety-eight, ninety-nine percentile required for the good B schools. Fine. So last thing which I want to talk about is can I do it and I can do it. Fine. Before this video, you were thinking, "Can I do it? Can I do it?" So now, if you go back and do the topics which I told you, the important topic first in the last few days, and target 50% marks, trust me, you can do it. Fine. So all I want to do is, I want you to replace the word "can" from this position to this position. Fine. So if you are in the uh, cities where we conduct workshop, you can attend my workshops, our workshop, and the, the way we teach and all. Fine. Uh, the innovation what we've done in the online thing is the D-Day mock. We are going to launch a D-Day mock a few days before the exam. This is exactly on the basis of CAD papers of last few years. Fine. So if you can join us, please go through this D-Day mock. It's very important to see the paper. Trust me, you'll feel that this is exactly the paper you're going to get in the paper. It's not even one inch difficult or easier than your CAD papers. Second thing is the live mock on the day one of CAT. We always launch a CAT paper on that evening, which is based on the that year paper. For example, last year suddenly there was a fall in the number of questions in geometry. So this year you'll find out what are the areas which have increased or decreased. Obviously, these questions will not come. Obviously, will not post the, the actual questions of CAT. Fine, but I give you a flavor of what is the kind of paper you're coming. So you get an idea one day before CAT what is coming and what is not coming. All right, this this mock is going to be a simulation of last few years. This help you find out the baseline of where you stand, how much improvement you need. Fine. We also add on to this thing will be the 30 days, 20 days, and 10 days program on how to isolate yourself in 10 days. Trust me, if you join your program, we, 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 you can increase your score by up to 20 marks in last few days. Fine. So all the best. The information is given on our site, cedging.com, and mockinjot.info, or you can call us on these numbers. All right. all the best thank you very much your target is 50% marks in cat paper forgot about the percentiles all right bye